so there we are back into the flight deck of the Atlas Air November 409 Mike Charlie uh, back into Chicago uh, it is now Sunday I will also the party doing on Friday so uh, the airplane has only flew two hours and four minutes but uh, it's in real life uh, two days and not two hours <laughs> that the airplane has flown so uh, we are currently uh, before the percent so the Aetis will tell us in a moment that we are can go into descent. So this flight was 8 May of 2024 Miami to Chicago. Uh, it was landed also in real life now with the current life matter at uh, runway uh, 28 center. Um, then I hope Papa Bob and then uh, normally they are back on track uh, around but this one has um, the three the normal airplanes taxiing to the cargo ramp so I will do that also. And he was taxiing there, and it was northeastern cargo ramp 7. So let's talk about the arrival. So we have the uh, Benic 6 arrival. Uh, a lot of um, altitude restrictions, no speed restrictions, thank God. And then it, I think it is going to the right and then to the left. Chicago Center, so we cannot have the clearance to fly lower. But the ATIS will not um, recognize any um, height restrictions, so I will do that um, control by myself. So I have also arrival page uh, opened on my laptop to the left. So we are going now to Trixie and Trixie there is the beginning of the arrival. So by Riley is flight level 240, Bedford is flight level 220, Rayland um, is between 2000 to 2030. Uh, oh no, we eat. Oh, we coming from Trixie here. So we have to then all the way to the flight level 140 or 1503. So um, let's ask the air traffic controller just a minute to our descent clearance. Uh, we are landing then currently at ILS 728 Center. Um, Four log is 109, uh, 108, this is 95. Final approach heading is 273. Uh, it has a very long and painful descent in the ILS, as you can see here. Uh, but yeah, there's the America with sits and stars. Uh, decision height is 851. The barrel, of course, 80,000 feet America is still pressure. Uh, so when we are landing at the runway to its center, uh, yeah, Papa 8, maybe Papa 2. And then down back on Papa to Echo Echo, uh, Bravo all the way around to Delta, Mike, November, 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 November 1, and up in the northeastern cargo ramp, and he was parked at, oh, it was 6, northeastern ramp 6. Uh, so we are currently in November 4909 Charlie, type check 400. CF680C2B1F engines. Uh, the weight is pounds, you know, yes. Uh, the current wind is 170 by 10, temperature is 40 degrees, cumulates 1012. It's dry at the moment now in Chicago. The landing weight uh, totally is 628,404 pounds. Flaps 30, air conditioning off, anti ice off, left boat, manually because there is some cloud, but they are uh, 2200 scan clouds at 250, so we have uh, enough space to see 
the landing uh, other way. Uh, so to its center, uh, Kilo Oscar Romeo Delta Chicago Air Israel Airport. Slope is a little bit, little bit up, uh, 0.2, and that gives us an uh, approach speed VRF RAF of uh, yeah, it says here 168. I think that's a little bit too fast. So let's do 153. Uh, yes, the VRF speed is indeed 153, and uh, I've chosen the F before. So here, even if it outbreaks one, it's not authorized uh, because we are then um, coming very fast to the end of the runway. So we can do outbreaks two, but when I have landed, I have to backtrack to Echo Echo. Uh, so I will do we have flaps four, forty nine, sixty two, which is a little bit of overkill. So let's do outbreaks three, and I think no, there we have also go to descent above the inner path. So let's go to one, two, four, five, five first, and let's then ask the air traffic controller uh, to a lower altitude of 15,000 feet. So let's do the signal uh, signs and the spoken signs on. Uh, out of brakes was three into there. Uh, I've also the override fuel pumps turned on because uh, main two and three are empty. So otherwise, engine number two and three will shut off. And now uh, they are uh, feeding by engine fuel tanks main 1 and 4, engine number 2 and 3. So I leave this open that I can uh, manually um, uh, look an eye on it uh, if there is any change or difference in it. Let's also turn the speed a little bit down because we are diving with our nose uh, to a left, so let's see, so let's select other uh, runway, um, first, uh, let's do also terrain right, weather left, uh, so it was to a center, yeah, to a center, and uh, that is the runway, and then also select other approach of ILS 28 center. And then select request approach and the runway. Fab controller to approach and 
uh, runway uh, to its center. So turn right heading uh, zero seven zero. Let's do the speed of the sound a little bit off and up and let's. So two seven zero and descend to flight level two five zero. So flight level change two eight zero to two five zero into there. Let's do a little bit of speed brakes out. Descend a little bit faster. All right. So uh, the barrel. So eight five bump. So let's put that bigger in here on the barrel. Two five. This two five. Uh, eight five. So eight five bump. Eight. Chains. Uh, let's do a little bit slowing down to uh, 270. Let's do the speed brakes out to um, get rid of some speed. Uh, 102125 on Chicago Center into there. Alright. 
so um, put the lid up. So that is going good. Let's see how the descent rate now is going with the speed brakes out. There we go. Down again. I think we are with 270 quite right. And let's go on Chicago Center. Well, three, two, decimal five. One, three, two, decimal five into there. Right. Yeah. Let's slow down a little bit more. Two two four zero. Let's hold the descent rate by minus twenty because otherwise the eight is will uh yell at us. Alright. So I have photoreal scenery installed uh, off uh, in Alloy, so you can see uh, some beautiful uh, ground. It is indeed very, uh, yeah, like in Alloy. Beautiful roads and a tree. Alright, so uh, 90,000, so 80,000, that is still the pressure then uh, from going back to the Hectometer Pascals of 1012. Yeah, also flaps 1 is underneath uh, 35, or 235, uh, so uh, 240, it will do that indeed. And then let's now back out the flight of the chains um, to 40. I have the speed brakes out completely. I will do that uh, with my hand on my uh right yeah. So I have three um, Uh, sliders on my um, yeah, 18,000, so 1012. So I have three sliders on my uh, s um, uh, uh, yoke, and uh, the right slider I can uh, control the speed brakes manually with my hand. Very useful. Also, we are going to well, three, two, decimal nine or five. So well, three, two, decimal nine or five. Let's go back. That's a little bit faster. So I'm also uh, planning then the uh, return flight to Amsterdam. Uh, first to fly to Guatemala, the KLM 747, Hop Hotel Bravo, Quebec Bravo, and then back from um, Guatemala back to Schiphol. So speed brakes retracted because we are flying at 150. Uh, let's stay at uh, 240 at the moment. Uh, let's go then also to Chicago Center 1. Two seven decimal eight hundred into there. Uh, yes. So L temperatures is one zero one two. Check. Two niner. Uh, eight and 
let's go all the way down to 4,000 feet. So I think we will be um, getting also um, in just a moment. Uh, let's do a flat of chains. Uh, uh, so let's see. Um, yeah, there we go indeed. Some things in variations uh, you can see definitely uh, before it is coming. So uh, heading to 045. So let's go to the left. Yeah, I've scenery installed off uh, in a lot, but I have uh, the other uh, state. the other state that is Indiana. Indiana. Wait, let's save the flight. And let's check briefly in the meantime of I have uh, indeed uh, Indiana, in Illinois, Idaho, Iowa. No, I have no scenery by Mega Scenery Earth, indeed. Uh, it's a little bit old, but uh, it's doing its job and it works. So, uh, yeah. Till then, uh, why not? So, uh, Yeah, in, in the mean of uh, in just a moment we are going also uh, above sea water flying, so uh, that is not necessary to some uh, photorecidry in it. So also, uh, also yeah, let's do the first uh, wing lights because we are underneath AF fifty thousand feet, American standard wing lights on check. So uh, I'm also planning. Uh, the recording of the uh, wait first let's go to one three five nine hundred look at the sun shining bright into the cockpit yeah one zero one hundred like a whole uh, 4,000 and let's go to South Bend Approach of 132 zero 5 uh, into there so yeah because this reason you have two pilots in the flight deck and not one that one is manually uh, scanning the airplane, what he's doing, and the other one is uh, in control with ATC. And also, let's go to turn left heading 355. Because we are indeed uh, a little bit out of the normal uh, route into Chicago. Because I have another uh, external hard drive. Um, with even more American state. Uh, let's also do uh, 330. And uh, I think there in is the whole of American all states, uh, like Indiana. Uh, but I have that not installed. So let's go first to 118 decimal 550. Into there, and then uh, let's do uh, Benty, no. Tony above. Into there, execute. Uh, so that was one five three indeed. Uh, let's turn right heading uh, zero five five. <laughs> 
All right. So zero five five. Uh, underneath uh, ten thousand. So landing uh, in our on view is looking good. Uh, let's go to one three three decimal one zero into there. Uh, let's see. So uh, speed brakes. Yeah, let's arm them now. So speed brakes armed. Uh, let's see. Let's slow in a little bit down. Let's repress light radar. Four on my laptop. Uh, so it's still one zero one two indeed. Oh man, we now are looking at the by the way the four. You can see uh, the train uh, coming in of the uh, two eight center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirty, forty. Forty airplanes uh, fly straight into uh, eighty. Uh, so twenty eight center. That's amazing to see that on my report. Amazing. So let's zoom in because with all the traffic I cannot click two times with my mouse. And there we are. Google said triple seven two uh, two hundred LO, I think it is. From Delhi to Chicago, Air India. That's a heck of a long flight. Let's see. That is 14 hours and 29 minutes. So, and he was born at 3.39 at night, uh, the, uh, this night, and it's now 14.10 uh, mid afternoon. So, uh, yeah, those pilots, an airplane, of course, uh, they are flying off an egg, off a long leg flight. So, let's hold heading 005, and now, uh, let's see. Oh, so we are going to the left, back again to heading 300. Uh, descent still 4000. Let's get rid of a little bit of the descent rate. So 4000, so speed heading select, vertical speed 4000 minus 10, 300. Heading select, uh, speed is looking good still for the moment for now. And then we can go back to the tower to well, to seven decimal nine or two five. Yeah, that is correct. So uh, we have no weather, so let's do terrain left, weather right. Four thousand. Uh, yeah, tower giant. 507, so let's fly straight in of ILS runway. Make straight in of uh, ILS 2A center. Alright, so let's zoom a little bit in. So 240 above the water, below 10,000 will do it now for the moment. Yeah, let's also then, because we can go straight. Uh, in of the weight center, let's do uh, get rid of the Tony and Vector VFR uh, and uh, let's go flight straight to um, Hazel. Hazel, indeed. Yeah, let's go flight in straight to Hazel. Into there. Uh, so we have. Uh, let's see, uh, VNAV Red. Yeah, let's freaking see. Oh, also, we realized there is an almost air landing. Angry Chicago, but then it is the uh, Flexport one delivery. You have the delivery not in uh, prepared, so shame on that. So we are above the water. Look at that. Beautiful blue tail on a lovely, beautiful blue water. Look at that. 
You know what time it is? Screenshot time! Very beautiful! So... Um, I was checking the red nav. Uh, 1089 or 50. Uh, that is... Decimal nine or five zero and two seven three. So that is indeed correct. So yeah, there is the uh, localizer. So let's arm lock. Let's zoom uh, into ten. Let's hold heading three hundred uh, lock armed. So that was 273. Let's see if the airplane agrees with that. 3, 2, 1. Yeah. It says 274. Let's do it manually 273 and let's see uh, with the current wind uh, OVF and shades uh, a little bit the heading. Oh yeah, and of course we're going um, from the seaside, so um, we are going flying uh, to the right, I think it is, uh, all those buildings of downtown Chicago. I was completely forget, for so, I was completely uh, that forget it, uh, or forget. So, uh, let's see, so... Uh, no, it's the other side, eh? Yes. Uh, let's see. So then I have to go to this one. Yes. So, uh, let's see. So we have still 17.9 miles uh, to run, but uh, 10 miles is flaps 10. Uh, so let's go. Uh, first reduce the speed of flaps 10, so let's do 1, 9 or 0. Also the glide slope is alive, so let's arm approach. So speed check, flaps 1. Check flaps 5. 14.8 miles to run. And speed check flaps 10. Alright. Nice. So flaps 10. Just in a minute, downtown Chicago. Very beautiful. Yes, look at that. Also, the famous uh, Chicago building in the distance. Yes, beautiful. Ooh, a very nice green park down below. Oh man, if you are sitting there with some heated drinks. And you can see uh, all the uh, airplanes flying straight into the Popeyes 28 center. Wow. Oh man, also a massive uh, football stadium down below there. Amazing. So I think, indeed, there's the glide slope. So let's turn down to uh, 153. And then uh, the current height is 4000. 
so uh, stable. So let's go and turn uh, the let me gear down. That's massive landing gear of the 747. Amazing. 18 views in total, I think it was. So landing gear is down. Yes. That's yes, amazing. So landing gear down. Ooh, we have some downforce on the wings. Look at that. Uh, speed checks and flaps 20. Uh, the wind is 18 knots, but it's stable. So let's turn off. Uh, so let's turn on the rest of those lights. Uh, let's do the start switches to continuous. Speed brakes are armed. Landing gear down. Uh, speed check plus 25. And flaps check. Yeah, so let's go with the heading. Uh, 177 I think it is. Let's zoom a little bit more in. Alright. We have no clearance to land. Flap 75 landing here. All right, so let's go and fly it from here manually. Yes, check, check. All right, so there we go. Let's follow the flight director. Stiffy. I can feel it in my um, yoke. It is a little bit stiffy. Stairs 10,000 to go. Beautiful, 60 men break. And let's go here the wrong way off. So speed brakes up, retracting, flaps up. So two hours and 43 minutes of flight time. So I think this is Papa One. Yes, indeed, Papa One. As the real one, as also vacating via Papa One. And he was he and he was going here directly to the right. So landing lights off. Uh, strobe 
uh, uh, stay till uh, on because we have to cross the other runway. And there we are. So ground one to one decimal six seven five. And uh, yeah, it says request taxi to northeastern parking. Um, he was parked at B6. So let's see if we can request that. No, it says here now P2. No. So, uh, yeah, so let's ignore that, let's reset the barrel, also another airplane is taking off, good sounds, so let's get rid of the flight directors, uh, alright, so the right one can go to post and the left one can go to Two uh, options: uh, only the stop light, wing, nav, beacon, the right turn off the taxi light. So now we have to go to uh, let's see, Echo Echo. We can see her there in the distance. Some other airplanes: American Airlines 737 SAS A330 and a Korean Air 777-300 Standing here also Nice Approaching 3, 2, left uh, Check Yeah, there's the run on the left Because we have to cross So, cross that one way just in a minute So, 10, 10 um, Train off, weather off Only the Traffic can stay turned on. Uh, so it is Tango Foxtrot. Yeah, so we have to go indeed a little bit forward. Nice. So this is this is Fox Trot. Yeah, so this next one. Yeah, this is Fox Trot. So the next one is Echo Echo. So the next one we have to go to the left. So the next one we have to go to the left. Also, the last build, Atlas Air, November, no, no, the sec, the, 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 no, no, it's the, no, it's the November 862. Uh, uh, he's landing now in Amsterdam, because I have on the right screen, uh, Joe Adams, uh, he's live by P40. Yes, uh, November 862. Uh, Golf Tango, and that airplane is now a real life landing in uh, Amsterdam. Very beautiful. So very beautiful to see what's in on the left. Yeah, so see live traffic from Amsterdam in a live stream, and of course flying uh, on its own yourself uh, in the sim. Yeah, that's our my Sundays. So this is Echo Echo, I believe. Uh, yes. Yeah, Echo Echo, indeed. So we are going here to the left. So left is clear. 
our right is clear, so let's cross to 8 right. Approaching 2, 7, left. Check. So then here we get all the way straight uh, to Bravo. Uh, we have also cross runway 27 left and center. So we have here Korea triple seven, 300, two of those, and an A3 3300 from SAS in the RR engines uh, in the old color schemes. Very beautiful. Look at that. So we to the left, so let's set the trim back to standards of 6.0. Uh, okay, let's see, so it's here, Bravo, so I think the taxi is now indeed Bravo. Of a 21 indeed. So we are going here to the right above the bridge, above uh, the highway. Very beautiful. Always very beautiful to see in a 747 uh, crossing a highway above if you are riding in uh, with your car uh, below it. So, here to the left, let's see this, so this, this is beautiful, so let's stand here above this bridge for just a moment to take a screenshot, because this is of course beautiful, yes! Very nice. Look at that. That's amazing. Nice. Look at that. Amazing. So, uh, straight forward. Uh, this is the Bravo. And when we are going here to the left, it will be um, going papa papa. So then here, go to the left. turn off 
Uh, let's see. So it's immediately here to the left to Delta. Because we are not going always forward to Papa Papa. Well, so here to the left. Delta And then we are now on Delta to Mike So one zero zero, heading of three six zero. And that is two hundred. So let's slow down here. Approaching three, two. And then let's go one. here to the right. Mike So also this one two zero zero and then now down on Mike. Here is Northeastern Cargo Wrap. United 623, hold position, caution at the party, Boeing 
above it. So it was then this one here to the right. Yes, this one here. Uh, yes, northeastern one parking six. So let's roll short here for just a moment. Park brakes on to request a uh, marshaller. Let's see, marshaller uh, northeastern park six, and let's uh, marshal location. Let's do it a little bit backward there, and then we can go into the parking spot. Park brakes off. And let's see if he will give us a good position. Yeah. So let's see. So uh, let's turn on APU bleed and APU is not on so let's then immediately go to the ground so FS action services set view shocks request ground power turn off the park brakes let's kill uh, engine one two and three for the moment let's stop the block time clock let's uh, uh, stand by the transponder and uh, turn off the signal signs and outbreaks. Uh, let's uh, clock standard of 2000 into there. And then the ten, uh, it is can also turn off. Uh, ground power is available, so external power 1. And then we can also kill engine number four. So engine number four is also off. So uh, let's turn off by one and four fuel pumps uh, the packs and bleed can go off wing beacon stormlight can go on uh, and uh, teamers can off uh, service intercom can go off all right then so let's go this back all the way up reset this and then let's go and request for the pilots to leave the airplane uh, stairs bomb and yeah in real life he was uh, loading up and refueling and flying I think it was via Honolulu to see uh, Sydney let's see uh, so Chicago, no, it was Chicago. Oh yes, and then indeed uh, Honolulu, Melbourne. Uh, back to um, Australia. So Kilo Oscar Romeo Delta. We are currently at 
at northeast of around 6. North 6. Oh, yeah. No, no. All right. Let's leave that then as it is. So, I think. So, flight time was 2 hours and 43 minutes. And uh, block time was uh, 3 hours and 11 minutes. Alright, so let's turn off the alignment switches. Uh, that Romex can also go away. Windows heaters. Uh, Immersion light can go off. And, alright. Lovely folks. There we are. So, let's see. what the uh, landing was so the landing let's see uh, pitch 5 up bank 0 speed was 143 wind speed was 9 by wind direction of 274 g force was uh, 0 0.95 vertical speed was minus uh, two for one and it was firm this it was acceptable so that was it then folks so i hope you that have you enjoyed to watching and uh to quite fun to see uh, me flying this uh, one and then i will see you all back uh, for the next one this livery is not public available because i have this uh, livery making by myself of november 409 Mike Charlie Dish. if you want this delivery let me know and I will see you all tomorrow for the next flight in another airplane in another delivery and uh, I think in the same sim but maybe in flight simulator you never knows so thank you all for now and I will see you all tomorrow so bye bye for now cheers Bye.